Hello gamers, Barmy here. Recently I've been getting a whole lot of questions about the GSE add-on that I use for my one button macro vids, so I thought I'd put together a quick video on what GSE is, how it works, and why GSE macros often work differently depending on the player that uses it. Let's get to it. I've had so many comments and questions about this recently. I've been told it's against TOS and that you can have your account banned and someone even told me that it's illegal to use it. And the simple answer to all of this is no. No it's not. It's not against TOS and you're definitely not going to get arrested for using it. In fact, tens of thousands of people have been using this add-on for years now, over multiple expansions and it's fine to do so. If you're interested, these are the particular terms of service that people are referring to, and you can pause the video now and have a good look-see. In a nutshell, GSC allows us to create a list of commands using World of Warcraft's API, which are mainly macros, and cycles through these commands with presses of the button. GSE doesn't control a character in any way and has no idea if a spell is being cast or what cooldowns may be running or what procs have popped. It just attempts to run the commands on the list one after the other until it reaches the end of the list and then it starts again from the beginning. If you've seen any of my recent videos you'll be familiar with the macro editor and what it looks like. Here is a very simple macro for the prop paladin that I use, and here is a way more complicated macro for the blood decay. But no matter what macro you're using, they essentially all work the same. GSE puts the commands into list order and then rolls through it sequentially from top to bottom over and over again. And the list for every macro can be found here in the compiled template. Now let's have a look at a warrior macro that I've been working on recently. This macro is a work in progress and it needs a lot of work so don't be surprised if the outcome is a little sketchy, just follow along with me. We can see in the compile template the list of commands that I just spoke about. If we copy and paste this onto notepad and then clean it up, we can clearly see the spell order of the macro. And it starts from the beginning and every time we click the macro it moves to the next spell on and on and on. But let's have a look at this in a different way. Here we have a wheel with every spell on it, from Victory Rush all the way through to Heroic Throw. Now the wheel is going to move one place every time the spell is attempted, and for ease of presentation I'll assume that the macro is being spammed consistently at four times per second throughout combat, and you may also see this termed as 250 millisecond intervals. We're also assuming that Render's active on the target, proccing overpower every 6 seconds, and that Victory Rush proc is up. Now you don't need to understand the mechanics to follow along, and it's not as complicated as it looks. With the first click we cast Victory Rush on the target, which triggers a global cooldown of 1.5 seconds. The first spell up after the GCD is Colossus Smash, this will be cast starting the next GCD. Then we land on Colossus Smash, but this is still on cooldown, so we cast the next spell on the list, which is Mortal Strike, and the GCD starts again. The next spell up is Heroic Throw, this will be cast, and then into the GCD. Now we land on Overpower, and this would have procced because Rend is ticking, and 7 seconds have elapsed, so it casts it, and starts the next GCD. We land on another Mortal Strike, and it's off of cooldown, so it casts. And into the final GCD, finishing up with an Execute and with the target almost dead, we finish him off. In real time, that fight is going to look like this. Victory Rush, into Colossus Smash, into Mortal Strike, into Heroic Throw, into Overpower, another Mortal Strike, and then finish him off with an Execute. Now this example was set at a consistent rate of 4 clicks per second. If the click rate was to change, then so would the outcome. If auto attacks had reset the cooldown of Colossus Smash, then the rest of the rotation would have changed, and the same can happen for any procced spell that's on the list. In short, it's impossible to write a macro that works the same for everybody. All we can do is populate the macro with more of the priority spells and try and maintain a sustained click rate to increase the likelihood of hitting them. I hope this has cleared up some of your questions about GSE. 
And if you want to know more about these one button macros, you can join our Discord community. There's tons happening at the moment and lots of cool people are getting involved. You can also check out the videos here and here for some one button macro guides. Now that's all for now, so enjoy your time in Azeroth and I'll see you in the next one.